Hi friends, in this video I am going to show you how to make the best liquid fertilizer for your tomato plant and other plants. For this purpose I am taking the tea leaves and the banana peel fertilizer. The banana peel fertilizer is having the one week old. I am giving the description of this banana peel fertilizer making. You can check it how to make the banana peel fertilizer. Now you take the banana peel fertilizer and filter this solution clearly. The banana peel contains nutrients that are essential for healthy potted plants. However, they are contain the everything your plants need. As they decompose, banana peels and potassium as well as small amount of nitrogen, phosphorus and magnesium to the soil in a similar fashion as a slow release fertilizer. By using this liquid fertilizer, you can resolve the plant deficiency. I give you the plant deficiency guide along with it. Now you can check it. Now I successfully filter this solution into a glass. Now take aside. After that, you take an another glass for filtering these tea leaves. Now I am taking these tea leaves and placing the tea leaves into this glass. After you placing the tea leaves, you add so much of water into this glass for getting an extraction of the tea leaves. The tea leaves contain the all big three nutrients as NPK. The NPK is nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium and as well as some trace minerals. Now the tea leaves extract is almost ready. Now in this next step we are going to mixing this two liquid fertilizers into a suitable bottle. Now I am taking this glass jar for mixing the two liquids and by using a mesh I am filtering the tea leaf solution to remove the unwanted tea leaves and, and separating the tea dust from the tea extract. Now the extract is ready. In the next step we are going to pouring the banana peel fertilizer into this solution. Now I am going to taking the a glass of banana peel fertilizer and pouring the banana peel fertilizer into the jar properly. Now after pouring this banana peel fertilizer you mix this liquid fertilizer properly by vigorously shaking. Now it's ready. Now we reach our garden. Now I am taking this solution into a glass. After that you pour this solution into your tomato plant. Now I am going to pouring this solution into my tomato plant. You, you can use this solution in every week. That, that will help to the plant deficiency and the plant resistance. Now the I am going to adding to this solution into my potato plant because it needs some resistance.